Hello there, good morning. Well, it's actually it's afternoon, I don't know why I said good morning. I put a video up yesterday and I got the name wrong of uh, one of the nurse managers. And uh, one of the commenters, uh, Scott Asnavori, and very kindly and correctly pointed out that I was saying Alison Kelly, and I, was, I should have been saying Karen Reese. I just have a little bit of a glitch over those two names and I, I swapped them over. But thank you for that, Scott very much so I just I deleted the video but anyway that's by uh, you know the, the video was about this phrase that Breary said about he had this drawer of doom i.e. all his uh, secret little dossier they had been building up about Lucy Letby they didn't want to share with uh, and he said it again didn't want to share with Karen Reese. It, just the fact he had it was meant to be enough, you know, that she would just uh, jump, jump at his uh, suggestion and just s agree that Lucy Letby should be uh, removed from her duties. I'm finding myself getting overwhelmed with anger about this the more I... So I've just got to calm down a bit, I suppose, but it's just so sickening. These people are evil, you know, and uh, I just saw this prat on Twitter earlier. I muted him. I mean, I think ostensibly he he believes Lucy Letby is innocent, but it's not the point. He just goes on about, oh, there's no malice here. There's no ill intent. There's just, he said something about ha something called Hanlon's razor, which means that, you, you know, don't don't ascribe to malice what's usually down to stupidity. It's not about stupidity, this. You begin to, you can see the malice that's there. You can see the bullying. You can see the ill intent. You can see the planning and the deviousness of someone like Breary. You can see the narcissism and the narcissistic rage and the will to control. It's not about stupidity. It's, it was, it's a campaign. It's not a campaign of stupidity. It's a campaign of bullying and malice and destruction of someone. Destroy their lives utterly and stick to the lie for years and years and years and watch their life, life go up in flames because of what you've done. And have no conscience about it. And rest easy about it. These are psychopaths. That's what I believe. If somebody wants to live in cloud cuckoo land and live in this sort of state of faux innocence and faux naivete about the world and about what human beings are capable of. It's like going back into the witch hunting times and going, well, oh, Matthew Hopkins, yeah, yeah, there's no malice there, no, there's no, he didn't enjoy what he was doing, he didn't, he didn't get a, like a boost of power from sending people to the gallows or to be burnt. Uh, he was just stupid, he was just a bit... Just a bit thick, really. That was all it was. And it, yeah, there's no malice. There's no... And the whole thing wasn't based on malice and the pointing of people out, you know, for looking at somebody the wrong way as they passed their pig and the pig died or whatever. That wasn't based on malice either. No, no, none of it's all, it's all stupidity, yeah. There's, there's no intent there. There's never any intent. And this is how evil proliferates. And this is how evil really, really ramps up and, and lays waste and takes over whole institutions and organisations like the police, like the so-called justice system, like the NHS. That's how it, that's how it really gets into f top gear. Because <laughs> people don't recognise it when it's in front of their fucking face. And they keep saying, oh, no, they meant well. Yeah, they meant well. Yeah, oh, no, no, they had the best intentions. Oh, yeah, the best intentions, yeah. I can't do... Anyway, I've gone off on a, a rant that I didn't want to do. I've got to stop this. I, I'm... I can't... I'm on Twitter. I'm looking at a lot of the stuff today, but... Yeah, I'm triggered, as the, as the modern parlance puts it. I'm triggered by assholes in daily life, but online as well. I'm just triggered to them to the extent... I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to watch that panorama pile of shit with that Judith Moritz who wants to flog a book. And, and wants an innocent person in prison for the rest of her life in order that Moritz's book can uh, be justified. 
that pack of lies, that pack of shit from this nutter, another sick nutter that would have somebody in prison for the rest of their lives for crimes that didn't even occur just so that her book can be successful. That's what it boils down to. There's no conscience in these people. There's no conscience in them. There used to be a name for that. They changed it to antisocial personality disorder. The old fashioned name was psychopath. There's no conscience in these people. There's nothing there. Evans is sleeping like a baby. But I hope that won't be for much longer. I hope it's closing in on him. Oh, he's angry, yeah, but he's not what I'm saying by that is that he's not he's not thinking he's not racked with guilt. None of them are racked with guilt. And when Lucy Letby is sorry, I know I'm a bit hyper today, but when Lucy Letby is released and shown to the world. Not at that point to be innocent, because she's always been innocent. That's what Andrew Malkinson said. I'm not innocent today. I haven't been found innocent today. I've always been innocent. When the miscarriage of justice is overturned, and then, of course, they've got to address all the parents' concerns, what more than concerns, what they've been done, the crime that's been done to the parents, both in respect of what happened to the, their, their babies, their children at the hospital, but also the lies that they were told for all these years and what they've, what they've been put through. People, people who want everybody to shut up about this, saying, what are you putting the parents through? It's what the police and the NHS and this demon Evans and creatures like Moritz, it's what they're putting the parents through, putting them into a state where they've been lied to. Why would you want to... That, why would you want that lie to continue on behalf of someone? Oh, no, we mustn't talk about it. We must both punish somebody who is innocent and, and have people who have been terribly let down by the NHS to the point of medical negligence lied to and, and, and this, that they've got to carry the burden that the children have been murdered or attacked. Why would you want that? What kind of sadist would want that? Why would you want to keep them in that state of, of unreality about that? That it's not, it's not true. Why would anybody want that? Am I, am, am I living in a, some kind of alternative universe? I, I know not everybody wants that. But there seems to be a lot of people that want that. What's wrong with it? People can't, so many people can't fucking think these days. <laughs> they can't think because they're not, they're not feeling and they can't feel because they're not thinking. It's just, it's just... Anyway, I'm ranting like crazy and I'm not getting on with what I want to say. Yeah, the draw of doom is obscene. It's, it's the mark and the red flag of a narcissist. Shodi didn't really care about the deaths. He just wanted her off the unit, would never have gone to the police. I've said this about a thousand times across nearly 150 videos now. Um, can't, can't keep re repeating it. There's no point in keep repeating it. I just want to draw your notice to a really interesting video that's come out uh, on a channel called AMC. I've just got to call it up on the old uh, on the old computer here. Um, um, it's a three it's a three minute video. Very you know unlike mine, which I know go on a bit, and I'm, it's very very uh, succinct. And it's AMC. I'll leave the link below. Lucy Letby case. Breathing Tube Dislodgement and Baby K, and it's got two experts in there, and the journalists that made this video, AMC. And, and she's talking to eminent Cambridge professor of neonatal medicine, Colin Morley, and experienced neonatologist, Dr. Richard Taylor, and it's just with regard to showing how easy it is for tiny premature babies, such as Baby K um, was, uh, to dislodge their own breathing tubes, i.e. Uh, rather than, as that freak Jayaram said, that Lucy Letby had done it and he caught her virtually red-handed doing it, although he did nothing of the kind, the lying bastard. So that's a video I've linked to just below, just to watch that. There's no point in me kind of commenting on it. It, it. It's still doing everything it says on the tin. Really, really powerful video with actual experts for a change rather than the renter renter bastard 
twats that they got uh, number 20 uh, oh what am I talking about 2023 and then the, and the second thing I want to let you know about and I haven't actually listened to this yet but I will do is the first episode of um, John Sweeney's podcast which is called the title I don't particularly like this title but it's called A Hospital Full of Shit I think it's just a bit un uh, unnecessary but anyway or, or, although I, I get the point that they're making and it's trying to grab eyes and uh, ears rather it's a podcast but it's um, from from a series they're starting. It's the first episode called "Was Was There Ever a Crime?" The Trials of Lucy Letby with John Sweeney, I think, um, and another gentleman is involved in it called Edward Abel Smith, who I believe is a writer. He's also involved in this podcast, so I'll link that below as well. I'm going to listen to that. My priority is listening through um, all the Doctor McConville podcasts in the other side of Lucy Let Be, but I would certainly will listen to this one from um, John Sweeney and Edward Abel Smith. What else was I going to say? Oh, yes, of course. I mean, tomorrow, the 24th of October, application for leave to appeal in respect of the conviction for attempted murder in the Baby K case that happened this summer, just gone. What's going to happen there? I think it's prob they're probably going to turn it down, aren't they? As I said in my video that I deleted yesterday, um, which you wouldn't have seen because I deleted it, obviously. <laughs> but uh, I just want—I was just wondering, trying to look at it on both sides of it, that if the establishment, so-called, or system, as we want to call it, this thing that's rotten to the core, you know, if they realise that this is they need to take the loss here and take the shame of what they've done and, and know that it's irrepressible now that it's going to be overturned. Are they going to do some kind of controlled reversal of it and they recognise that the t overturning of the Baby K attempted murder conviction is the first domino in that controlled overturning and they know it's going to happen? Or contrary-wise... Will they will they deny the application for leave to appeal tomorrow for Lucy Letby precisely because they they believe and know that if it is brought to appeal, Lucy Letby will be exonerated of that charge and the, and it will be the first domino for all the other ones to fall. You know, it depends how sick this. Well, it it is it's beyond words. This corrupt, evil, sick, dark, vicious, nasty system is. And how how long it wants to dig its cloven cloven feet in, you know? It it needs to be take taken dra it needs to be dragged kicking and screaming towards truth and justice. It doesn't want to go there. Criminal justice system, police, CPS, they don't want to go there. Third world inquiry, a charade doesn't want to go there willingly <laughs> because it's not based on morality. Because they're not moral people. Because they don't care about the truth. Back to this prat who says, oh, it's all about stupidity. No, it's, it's, it's deliberate. For fuck's sake, let's get real and wake up and smell the coffee. It's deliberate. People aren't that stupid in those positions. They don't get to those positions by being stupid. They get to those positions like Thurwall by being people that the system can rely on to cover up or to double down on injustice or untruth. Anyway, sorry, I'm not shouting it at you, dear listener, if, if there are any listen, listeners after the first minute of this. I'm fucking enraged. I mean, this chimes in with a lot of stuff that's been going on in my personal life in terms of... And that's one of the engines of my how I feel this so intensely because I know how sick and useless and twisted these organisations are but n n not to say that I would if, if that wasn't going on I wouldn't be able to imaginatively and uh, empathetically understand what's going on here but it just adds an extra, a, a, an extra lot of fire really 
So I've said about that, the, the, um, we'll have to see what happens tomorrow, 24th. Bollocks to BBC, the dark heart of the BBC panorama, you know, it's just, um, I used to think of panorama as something that was a valuable thing. I'd, maybe they've done something valuable in the past, decades ago, but what is it now? It's, it's, uh, it's part of a shit sandwich, really, isn't it? Which is the BBC. It's, sorry, it's a bit of a coarse thing to say, but it's sick. It, it's, it's, it's the dark heart of the establishment, the BBC. That's what it's become. And um, anyway, I'm not going to go on about it. I'm not wasting energy on these twats anymore. That's why I'm not going to watch it even. I've, I've, I've seen clips of it. I've, I've heard the, what people are talking about it. It's, it's, it's a grifter called Judith Moritz who wants to sell her book that's already teed up with the publisher. It's meant to be coming out soon or is coming out. And it's all based on a serial killer lie, a lie about it. So it should be in the fiction section. But it's a non-fiction book and she wants it to succeed and the BBC want it to succeed and everybody wants the lie to continue. But as somebody said, interestingly, File on 4, which is Radio 4, which is part of the BBC. Now, I think it was Dr Phil Hammond said this on Twitter. He said, well, d d don't the uh, people who produce File on 4 talk to the people who produce Panorama? <laughs> because you're looking at the same evidence and the same stories that are coming out here and you, you seem to be diametrically opposed. Anyway, f fuck the BBC and everything they stand for now. Oh, Christ. Um, yeah, John Sweeney, episode one, <laughs> bit of a crass title, but I get, I get what they mean. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm being too picky there, but, um, gonna, gonna listen to that. And crucially the AMC, uh, YouTube video from a brilliant journalist there and documentary maker. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say who it is. I know who it is but I'm not sure if I can say that. Uh, so so, I, so I, I won't say that. But anyway, there's a brilliant journalist and documentary maker there making that. Three, three minute video, please watch it. Please share it if you would. And was there anything else I was gonna say? Uh, let's have a look. I made some notes here. Oh yeah, I think I've said this in other videos before. Going back to the first application for leave to appeal in regard to all the convictions of the 2023 trial, the initial judge that turned it down and then the three, the pack of three of the vipers ratified that and turned it down the second bite of the cherry, as it were. That, that first initial judge was only, was only, and I think I've said this before in other videos, was only the bloody prosecutor in the Sally Clark miscarriage of justice the person who prosecuted Sally Clark, who was later overturned, although they destroyed her, and she she died about an, a few months, six within six months, she was died after being released because they destroyed her that system, and that prosecutor ends up being the the appeal um, the appeal judge in terms of application for leave to appeal for Lucy Letby. You couldn't make it up. What a what a nest of vipers that system is. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I've got to stop doing this. I keep thinking, don't compare these people to animals. Vipers are beautiful. I mean, animals don't do anything, don't do shit like this. I've got to stop doing that. I keep saying things like jackals, hyenas. No, the animals are innocent compared to this, what these, these scumbags do. I've got to stop that. Anyway, I think I'll leave it there before I just blow a gasket. Um, I need a drink, and, uh, and I don't want a drink. But <sighs> it's, it's got to be overturned, this, this um, monstrosity, isn't it? But what it's opening up, even as, as if we even need it, even, well, we do need it, we do need to, it to be opened up and shown, is how dark the whole, the whole structure is. All of it, all of it. You know, I, I've seen it in, personal terms in the kind of um, personal issues I've gone on. But it's it's everywhere. It's everywhere now. The, the rot needs to be exposed to everything. And clearly um, the miscarriage of justice has to be overturned. And then 
And then the next thing is to address the the real causes of the which is coming out. I mean, they're looking at you know. I I can't go into all of it. Best thing to be on Twitter, you know. Look, look, look in case of baby D, they're they're acknowledging that the baby had sepsis, and had the baby had sepsis from very very early on. There's reasons why all those babies died, and and sadly died, you know. And they were in the wrong place. They should never have been in the counters of Chester Hospital. The vast majority of them shouldn't have been there. It's a dangerous place, unsafe place. That's not me saying that. That's one of the consultants, Alison Timmis, saying that in 2015 to the chief of, to the chief executive. Anyway, I'll just keep repeating the same stuff. There's no point in doing that. Um, all the best to you all. And let 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 truth and justice, for fuck's sake, let it cut let it come forth. As you know, I don't know this. I used to love this uh, saying by this person called or, or, um, Augustine of Hippo. It's, it says something like, uh, "The truth is a lion." There's no need to defend the truth. The truth is a lion. Let it loose. It will defend itself. Well, yes and no. Yes and no. No, we do have to fight alongside it, don't we? And we do have to... Well, at the moment, the, 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 there's, a, there's a whole pride of lions, but they're all locked up in cages and they're not, they need to get out there and rip the establishment apart is what they need to do, metaphorically. Um... I'll shut up now before I say anything more that... Fucking hell. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.